Good day, YouTubers. I'm going to share a strategy with you playing the Big Road and the Big Eyed Boy Road uh, together. And I'll be using the D. Allenbert money management betting strategy where if you lose a unit, you add a unit, and if you win a unit, you decrease a unit in the progression. And I normally play four, three units, target win. I don't play more than that. And I'll leave the shoe and come back later and play another brand new shoe. Um, I believe that if you stay long at the table, the variance will catch up with you. Doesn't matter what system you use, the variance always catch up with you. So let's head over to the simulator and I'll show you how I play the strategy. Okay, so here we are, the simulator. We'll have a look here. This is the big B plate. This is the, the big road, the one below it. That's the big eyed boy road. The one below that, that's the small road. And over to the right here, that's the cockroach pig road. So to get a result here, we're going to be playing the big road. And then the big eyed boy here we're going to play. So to get a result here, that'll tell us what, what bet to, to lay. So we need at least three hands, so let's have a look. Okay, we've got a player. 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 Okay, we need at least another two hands. Player. Banker. We'll need one more hand, I think. Yeah, we need a flip here or another banker. A flip to player or banker to get a result here. Deal another hand. Okay. So now we've got two here. And we've got a result here. So how do we work this? This is what we do. So we, we go over to the left and we look up into the next square and it's filled. So they're both filled. So that's a match. That's a pair, a match. So that tells us here, we get a red circle which tells us that's predictable. If it was a blue circle, that would tell us it's chaos. So we wouldn't lay a bet. So predictable what does that mean yeah that means that this could be a run of bankers so we'll put a unit on banker and we deal and we get that okay so now we're not at the top square so we down here in the third square we look over to the left and we look up, it's filled, that square is filled. So that's a pair. So therefore, it tells us here, in the Big Eyed Boy Road, that that's predictable. So we can play another hand on Banker. We lose that. So we one unit down and we go back to the big road. So we've got an outcome in the top square in the new column. So we go two to the left, one, two, and we look down. We've got four outcomes and we go back here. We've got three. So that's not a pair. That's not equal. So therefore, down in the big eyed boy, we get a blue circle that tells us that it's unpredictable.
So we apply another hand. We get a banker. So we, in the top square, in a new column, so we go two to the left, one, two, we've got three, go back, we've only got one. So that's not, not a match. So that tells us, down here in the big art boy, that the blue circle is chaos. So we play another hand. So we get a banker. So it's not in the top square, in a new column, it's in the second square. So we go to the left, and it's blank. Go to the top, it's filled. So that's not equal. So therefore, we get another circle of chaos, a blue circle of chaos. So we play another hand. So we're in the top square, in a new column. Go to two to the left, one, two. Look down, that's blank. We've got one filled. And then we've got twofold, not equal. So therefore, we get another chaos blue circle. Go for another hand. Get a banker. It's in the top square, a new, new column. So we go two to the left, one, two. Look down, we've got two there. We go back here, we only got one, not a match. So therefore, Unpredictable blue circle. Chaos. Okay, deal another hand. We have a player in the top square in a new column. We go two to the left, one, two, we look down, blank, we go over to the right, blank, that's a match. Therefore, we get a red circle indicating that this is predictable. So what's predictable about this, these three hands? That's a chop starting. So we can put a, a, a bet on, on banker. So we lost the last one, so we need to put two units on banker. And we lost it. Okay, so now we back here. So the second square, it's not at the top. So we go one to the left, look up, it's full, not a match. So that tells us it's chaos. Get a blue circle of chaos down here in the blue white boy. So we play another hand. Get another player. So we we're not at the top, so we go one over to the left, look up, blank, we've got a match. So therefore, in the big eyed boy, we get a predictable red circle. So what's predictable about this here, these three outcomes? That looks like a run or a streak starting. So we lost the last hand. So we need to put three units on player. And we get it. Okay, so we're back here again. We're not in the top square, so we go to the left, we look up, blank. So that's a match. So what is that telling us? We, we, we get a, a predictable red circle in the big art boy. So we've got a run going yeah. so we'll put um, we won the last last one so we've got to go back down to two units on player. And we won that. So now we're not at the top square so we, we go to the left, we look up, it's blank, blank, blank. So that's a match. So therefore, we get another red predictable circle. 
So we can put a, a unit on player now. Put one unit on player. And we lose that. So we go back. And we see we've got an outcome in the top square in a new column. We go two to the left. We look down, it's blank. And we go to the right, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's uneven, so that's another chaos blue circle, unpredictable. So we play another hand. So we go back here. We in a new top square in a new new column. Go two to the left. We've got five hand uh, five players there and we've got one banker so that's not no match so we get another chaos blue circle play another hand get a player it's not in the top square so what we do is we go to the left look up it's filled this one is blank it's not a match so therefore we get another blue chaos circle play another hand So we get a play. Oops, we get a player. We're not in the top square, so we go over to the left, look up, blank, blank. So we've got a match. Therefore, we've got a predictable red circle. So what's predictable about that? We've got a run going here. So we'll put two units on player. And we win that. Well, we've got we've got our three units. If you look at our, we've actually got four units. <laughs> so I would have pulled out of the shoe by now. So let's just play this hand and uh, make it the last hand. Okay, so we've got, we're not in the top square, we're down here, and we go to the left, we look up, and um, it's blank, so it's a match. So we would put another unit on, on player, let's see what would have happened if we bet player. We would have won it. So here, yeah, we're not in the top square, so we go over to the left, we look up, it's blank, so we've got a match. So let's play until we get a, a dragon tail. A dragon tail would be a win here, and then another win. That would be a dragon tail. Okay, we can get a dragon tail. I'll just do this one more time here. Okay, so we're in the top square now. So what we do is we go two to the left. One, two, we look down. That's only one banker. And here we've got one, two, three, four, five players. So that's not a match. So therefore, we get another unpredictable chaos blue circle. And that's it. I hope you understood that. I'll be doing more videos. This is my first video. I'll be using the same system, using different... Uh, money management systems. Um, I'll go through quite a lot of them, positive and negative betting strategies. And we'll use the same system and we'll see how they do. And um, please subscribe and um, I'll, I'll be doing at least one, one to two videos a week. Okay, see you till next time.